My name is Sienda Muhutziwa. I'm a special UN youth reporter here to hear the voices of young Africans. Today we're in Alex uh, with the Children's Radio Foundation at Alex FM, trying to get in touch with young activists who are helping their communities learn more about HIV. I find that the biggest issue as the youth is that our parents don't talk to us. We don't have the courage to go to clinics and ask for condoms. A lot of young people are uh, having STIs, but we don't go to clinics because clinics are not youth friendly. In the process of testing, they ask you, are you sexual active? Are you sure you don't have it? Like, they ask you a lot of questions that are very scary. Like, how do you feel? You know which you will die soon. I said, oh, I will die because all of us are going to die. But I will die of HIV. Trust me, that's what I'm sure of. And I'm not ashamed of telling people that I am HIV positive. And I'm living a healthy lifestyle with my HIV. <laughs> What impacted me most about the young people that I met yesterday and definitely was a refusal to be limited by circumstance. I, I knew so little about HIV and young people before I started this journey. Um, it's not stuff that's really publicized that much, I think, in the media about the rise in adolescent deaths from AIDS. They didn't make that many excuses. They didn't make any excuses, really. Good morning, Vienda. Welcome to Namibia. We just landed in Windhoek. This is my first time in Namibia. I'm so excited. Today we're going to head off to the UNICEF offices and meet up with the team to get briefed about our mission here in the next two days. So this is my first day in Namibia in my life, so this is quite intense. <laughs> what we have realized over the last couple of years is that um, there's a lot of decisions that are being taken for young people without young people. Stop making policies that we don't want, you know. What would you say is a unique Namibian challenge that people out there should really know about? I think most of it has been because of tradition. Girls, speaking for the girls, <laughs> girls have not had equal access to the stuff that boys would have. I think the biggest challenge is it, 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 it is culture because we're so diverse. We have ignorance that most people believe that the problems exist, but as long as it doesn't affect me directly, it doesn't affect, and that's one of the biggest problems with our youth. Thank you so much. Today it's a packed schedule. We're going to be meeting with Libby, who's a woman who um, got HIV when she was 17. I personally feel that, you know, being HIV positive and fighting um, stigma and discrimination has made me a stronger person. Uh, today we had a bit of a field trip into Katutura. We got to meet some of the uh, girls who were playing football, where young girls are given an after-school activity which kind of teaches them football and also life skills. So what are the, some of the biggest lessons that you learned here? Well, it's respect. Respect on and off the field. The boys, they also started respecting me for the fact that I perform much more better than most of them. A few of the girls play on the national team uh, of Namibia, so they're getting a bit of income from that, and I'm very proud to be supporting their families, and that's something that I found very, very inspiring. These past few days have been really magical and as a Pan-Africanist I can see now for sure um, throughout my travels here that although we have limited resources, difficult circumstances and the cards are really stacked against us, us young Africans are prepared and ready to rescue each other and ultimately to rescue ourselves. <laughs>